Hello friends of felines and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're venturing on my channel for the first time today. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I might be doing more of these videos but it's definitely not a video I've done a lot of. And basically today's video is just going to be going through a list of products that I emptied in 2020. Giving you guys my thoughts on them. Were they trash? Am I going to repurchase them or pass? So if you guys are interested to see what I used up in 2020 and if I'm going to be repurchasing it or not, then definitely keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to be putting like the pictures of the products here because everything has already been thrown away. I was debating on keeping the empty bottles of stuff, but then I was moving and I was like, I'm not dealing with that. So there'll just be pictures right here. Alright, so most of the products are skincare or hair type stuff. Only a couple of makeup items I've actually like used through to completion. And it's like, it's like when a chapstick. If you've used up a chapstick to the final end, you're like, I used it and I didn't lose it. And then you're like, crap, I need to go buy a new one. <laughs> so, only a couple of makeup items. So, the first thing on my list is the Ava New York City 10 in 1 Styling Mousse. I got a little sample size of this in some sort of box, I don't, or maybe it was free, I don't know. But I got it a while ago and I tried it and I hate it. <laughs> Absolutely no go for me. I do like styling mousses. I do like the Tresemme one. Um, I don't use mousses as often. I use more of like a cream or a gel now, maybe a little bit of like hair oil. But this one just did not control the frizz. It didn't give me like defined curls and ringlets and it felt very drying. It didn't feel like very moisturizing and I just did not like it. I don't even think I finished it. I just chucked it never to be seen again. So a while ago, like when I first started to get into James Charles, he preached ABH brow products like to the high heavens. So I bought the brow pencil, which I have now emptied, as well as the pomade when I went to Sephora with my sister. I ended up getting like shade matched and bought like a legit kind of expensive foundation and they definitely did not do a good job of shade matching me but we'll get into that later. So yeah I ended up getting this brow pencil. It has the spoolie on the one side and the pencil on the other and I enjoyed it. I liked it and I used it to completion. I was actually shocked that I finished it and like there was no more pencil left um, so I ended up checking that. I'm not sure if I'm going to rebuy it. I think I'm going to try a couple of other pencils just to like reach out and see if I like other products. Currently my favorite brow pencil since I finished that one up is the Winky Lux. It's definitely a little bit more easy to work with. I don't know if it's because my brow pencil from ABH was getting like expired or old. It ended up becoming really dry and it didn't glide on as easily as I remember it. But I do know another leading competitor in brows is Benefit. So I think I might reach out and try some of their products. The only one that I do have is one of their like defining brow gels. So I might try like their brow pencils and see if I like them better because I've heard very good things from multiple people about them. And even when it comes to the ABH pomade, I actually think the KVD Vegan Beauty one is way better and easier to work with than that pomade. So I do have a lot of both because pomades like last forever. So I don't think I'll be emptying them anytime soon. But for the moment, I don't think I will be repurchasing ABH brow products. Um, I'm going to try Benefit first. And if I don't like them, then maybe I'll go back. All right, the next thing is the Dime Beauty Hyaluronic Acid. I got this in a Lunarly box way back when, when I was subscribed to that. I miss that box, but I can't subscribe to any more boxes because I need to save for my wedding. But anyways, I loved this Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So moisturizing, it worked with my skin, and I absolutely was in love with it. I had never heard of Dime Beauty until Lunarly. I ended up getting another product from them. I think it was like some sort of roller ball or something like that. Um, but I'm not going to repurchase it right now because I did get a whole lineup from Inky List of skincare products, and one of them was Hyaluronic Acid. I'll definitely be doing a video for you guys um, after I've tried all of those products for like two weeks. But if that hyaluronic acid works from Inky List, I think it's way cheaper than the Dime Beauty one. And if it works as well, then I don't think I'll be repurchasing the Dime Beauty one. But I really, really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. Alright, the next thing is the Lashes MD. It's a lash and brow serum that I bought for $10 um, through like the FabFitFun edit sale. But I think 
don't quote me on this, it was like $80 in total and I still have a little bit left so it's kind of cheating but it's pretty much almost gone. I wasn't sure if it was actually doing anything um, but my fiance said he definitely noticed a difference and I definitely noticed a difference on my lower lashes. Obviously you can't tell right now because I've got lashes and mascara on but I definitely noticed a difference in my lower lash line and maybe a little bit on my top. But what did my fiance say? He says something like they look like like they look very fluttery or they look like toothbrush bristles or something. I don't know. He said something weird, but it was kind of a compliment and I like was like, whoa, maybe it's actually doing something. However, even if it is doing something, I am not gonna be spending the full price on this product. And I definitely saw that e.l.f., I think, maybe. Um, they released some sort of lash serum that I think was originally only like $10. So I think I'm going to try that one now and see the comparison if I notice a difference or not. Because I definitely don't want to be spending like $80 on a lash serum if it may or may not be working, you know? Alright, the next thing is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Pressed Powder. There's the loose and like the pressed powder. I have used the pressed powder for years. Like I never used a setting powder when I first got into makeup. I just used the pressed powder and I love it. I've emptied it like two or three times now and I just hit pan on it again. So I will need to be repurchasing that and I love it. It is a staple, it's cheap and it works well. The loose powder, I'm not exactly sure if I like it or not. I definitely got the wrong shade. So I may need to give it a little bit of a go with the correct shade but I absolutely love the pressed powder. It gives a little bit more coverage. I love using it with just like a BB cream and then that pressed foundation powder on top. Mm, it's like the perfect combination. So I will definitely be repurchasing that one. Okay, I had to look up the name for this because I remember it being super, super long. But the next product was by Kate Somerville. It was the KX Active Concentrates Biomimicking Peptides Serum. I think I also got this in some subscription box. It's originally $98, and I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be doing, but when I used that in combination with the Dime Beauty Hyaluronic Acid, I loved it, my skin was loving it, and I ran out of both around the same time. But there's no way in heck that I'm buying that thing for $98. No way, no how, no. Mm -mm. But I did really like it. I do like Kate Somerville's products. I do also have the goat milk and the exfoliating treatment. When I use those up, I will not be rebuying them. But I do love Kate Somerville products. If you do have the money to spend on them, I definitely highly recommend it. I have the intensive exfoliating treatment. Dude, the intensive is right. Like, I can only put it on for like 30 seconds to a minute because I do have sensitive skin, but it does work. And that one is $85. And then I have the Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. That one's $65. I haven't used that as much because I have way too much skincare and I haven't really gotten to it. I've tried it a couple of times, but not enough to see if it actually does something. So yeah, I love getting Kate Somerville products in boxes, but I definitely will not be purchasing it like with my own money. All right, next thing are some Dermalogica products. So before I reached out to an esthetician that worked at Ulta and I gave her my skin concerns and she recommended Dermalogica and said that it was like the best thing for sensitive, red, dry skin. So I was like, all right, cool. I had some points on Ulta and I went out and bought almost everything that she recommended because I was like, I need something that's gonna combat this redness and just really help out. I honestly don't know if it did anything. Um, I still have one product or two that I need to use up, but all the other ones for the price that you pay, I don't think it's worth it. So the first one was the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser. It's, I went through this one really, really fast. It was like a water consistency, I don't know, I didn't, I don't think it was the best thing in the entire world. And again, I don't know if I, these did anything for me. So at the price, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase them. I'm Like I said, I'm gonna give this Inky List product list thing a try and hopefully that stuff will work and won't aggravate my skin um, because it's a very, very affordable price compared to Dermalogica. The other one was the Ultra Calming Water Gel. And again, it's a very water gel consistency. It's not bad for a daytime moisturizer, but definitely not like deeply hydrating, like for nighttime, so I end up using something else. I also have the Ultra Calming Serum, which I only have a little bit left, so that one's almost gone. I do like that one, but again, it's a small bottle. It doesn't, I don't think it does that much. I don't know. 
The only thing that I might rebuy from them, if it actually does anything, I don't really know, is the Redness Relief Serum from Dermalogica. I still have a bunch of that. So that one's like a much taller bottle and only you only need a little bit. So like a little goes a long way. And at first I thought it was actually doing something, but it's kind of hard to tell. If I use it in conjunction with other products, I think it does something, but I don't really know. I haven't had like a lot of products that really aggravate me. Like there was something I tried a while ago that just my skin did not like, so I don't know what it was. I have to figure it out. But when it comes to Dermalogica, I just think the only one that I might rebuy will be that Redness Relief Serum. The rest, pass. All right, the next thing is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I emptied my regular bottle of it, but I also have the limited edition one and the Jeffree Star one. Absolutely love it. It's affordable. It's amazing. It's refreshing. I don't think it's like the best setting spray in the world. You know, it's not any like all-nighter setting spray or anything like that, but it's just very refreshing and I will always repurchase that. Plus, they always have sales at some point. Like sometimes you can get two for the price of one or it's half off. So again, I highly recommend it. My sister asked if I liked it because the Jeffree Star one was on sale from Morphe for like super cheap. Like I think it was like $4 or something crazy like that. So she'll so be like, yep. I highly recommend it. All right, the next thing is the This Works Deep Sleep Body Cocoon. This is a body lotion. <sighs> I love this. I am definitely gonna repurchase this when I actually have money. I'm still catching up on payments and bills, but I will definitely be repurchasing this. Again, I think I got it in a FabFitFun box, but it has like essential oils in it. It's a small container and it's kind of thicker, so you kind of like need a lot to cover everything. But I swear, I sleep so amazingly after I put this on. Like, I smell it, it absorbs into my skin, and it just, like, knocks me right out. I love it. Highly recommend it. It definitely works, and it definitely feels like you go into a deep sleep cocoon. <laughs> so it definitely does what it says. And I honestly really love it, and I'm really sad that I ran out of it. All right, the next thing is the Sol de Janeiro Shower Foreplay Body Lotion Shower Lotion Gel. Um, I do love everything by Sol de Janeiro. Everything smells fantastic. This one was kind of like a shower gel that you put on in the shower. Um, I liked it. I don't know exactly if I'm going to repurchase it. Definitely not anytime soon. But I definitely enjoyed it. It had that, you know, typical smell of the Boom Boom Cream. And it was kind of something that you put on the shower to, like, moisturize while your skin is still wet. And I didn't really use that with like a lotion when I got out because usually my skin was like moisturized enough and even with the scent my skin didn't hate it you know on the same hand I also ran out of the boom boom cream yes it is boom boom not bum bum I learned that but I will definitely be repurchasing like the largest container I can it's definitely a very very thick moisturizer but it does its job and again it smells amazing I definitely want to try some other Sol de Janeiro products. I also have a small little version of like their Coco Cabana cream and I also have a lip balm by them but they do have some like body mist and stuff so when I run out of my like Bath and Body Works body mist I might buy some of those because I just I love their scents. <laughs> Alright the next thing is a couple of things from pharmacy. I ended up going on a pharmacy kick like last not like 2019, but I think 2018, Christmas time, I bought a bunch of kits. So one of them was the um, Honey Drop Hydrating Mask, I think. Um, this one, it definitely feels like straight up honey, and it was warming on the skin at some points. It could be um, irritating if my skin was just not having a good day that day, but... Nah, again, there's some things in pharmacy that I absolutely love and some things that I did not. So that one's kind of in the middle. Again, I have a lot of face masks and hydrating masks that I don't think I need to repurchase that one too. The other thing from pharmacy that I just about finished up is the Sleep Tight Firming Night Balm. Again, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. It came in a kit with that, like the day cream, the honey hydrating mask, and the green clean. So she was like this whole mask and I want to try them since I loved the green clean so much. But this sleep tight firming mask, it's very thick and like oily. Like you have to warm it up with your hands to put it on and then it just sits on your skin. Doesn't feel like it's firming. I don't think I need a firming night cream. So definitely not something I'm going to repurchase. 
All right, and I think we've come to the last thing on my list. I just finished this up. I got this again in another subscription box, but it's from Terry Marie. I don't know. It's the Aloe and Tea Tree Toner. Again, when it comes to toners, I'm not really sure exactly what their purpose is. I could go watch Hiram, but I know it's to like prep your skin. Some of them have different functions. Some it's to like detoxify, some it's for hydrating, some it's for exfoliating. I'm not really sure the purpose of this one. I do know that it was very gentle. It didn't really have a fragrance to it and it didn't irritate my skin. But as far as like purpose, I really don't know what its purpose was. Um, and I, again, I already have a bunch of other toners that I don't think I'll be repurchasing this one. Right now I have the PHA toner from Inky List as well as um, like another toner slash exfoliating serum thing from I don't know what's from, but I already have a bunch of toners that I don't think I need to repurchase this one. Okay, I think that is everything that I had emptied in 2020, which it seems like it was a lot. But again, 2020 seems like it was 20 years long, but 20 days long at the same time. So just like 2020 and the rest of these products, they can all go in the trash and mostly stay in the trash. I only think I'm going to buy a couple of those products that I emptied because again, I'm broke and two, most of them like didn't wow me. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm probably going to be doing a couple more of these, just kind of like sit down and talk about products and give you guys my honest reviews. If you guys like these videos, then don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. I love you guys and subscribe to my channel and we'll community feline family. Bye!